and welcome to my latest art video. Today I'm going to be doing things just a little bit differently. Uh, usually I start at the very beginning of an illustration or design and show you every step from how I brainstormed it on scratch paper to how I got it to the final design. But I'm kind of wanting to do at least two pieces per video. And I found with the last video that I wasn't able to do two because it took so long. So I thought that today I would show you just the more advanced, interesting parts. And uh, did kind of the startup bit without taping it. Can compare this to my videos where I showed you everything and then tell me if you prefer one over one over the other or if you'd like to see some sketches but also sometimes not be sketches. I'd love to know because I haven't fully decided yet. This may look like kind of a funny place to start. Why do I have a bit of watercolor paper painted like wood and then a bunch of circles in it not filled in? <laughs> Why on earth? Well, first of all, let me start by saying it took a really long time to get these circles. I'm bad at drawing circles. A lot of people are. And it was, it was, I don't have a, a compass and it was really hard to find something of the proper size to trace around because it's quite small. The, the size I need the circles to be to fit eight of them on this paper, which there need to be eight needed to be very very small. I think I used some of my round erasers first and then I tried to use a fat marker. The marker had really irregular <laughs> bits on it uh, sticking out so it looked all scratchy and then finally uh, I ended up using uh, the cap end of a, a tube of chapstick. So I used a little thing of chapstick and traced around it and then had to get the spacing perfectly so they're all evenly spaced and it was really hard. So I just wanted to let you know that <laughs> before I go on to talk about anything else. I just needed to complain a little bit. You, as you can see, I'm kind of filling things in so they're not white circles anymore. They're, at the moment, brown circles. <laughs> they're not going to end up brown circles. Um, and I'm wondering if any of you can guess from the title of this video what this might be. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has had a particularly emotional response to uh, the description of what I'm painting in the book A Court of Mist and Fury, but I really did. I really, really liked it. And <laughs> so uh, almost as soon as I read it, even though I wasn't uh, planning on making bookmarks at that time. Way back when I read it, I, when I first read it, I really wanted to create that image so I could see it in real life because it was just so cool, <laughs> so fun and, and sweet and wonderful that I really wanted to see it in real life. So finally, uh, when I decided I wanted to make a few bookmarks based around Court of Mist and Fury, uh, I knew that this had to be one of the designs. Uh, if you haven't guessed, uh, this is going to eventually be four pairs of eyes belonging to four of the main characters in A Court of Mist and Fury. From left to right, Cassian, Amran, Moore, and Azriel. And, uh, and the reason that I'm painting their eyes on a background of wood is because in the book, uh, the main character puts their eyes in a row like this, and uh, it just, uh, I really liked it. I really liked um, the idea of, uh, the reason she painted them was <laughs> she painted Amran's eyes first, and she did that because uh, Amran is always watching, <laughs> and then more suggested she paint the other eyes as well so that he could watch over her while she was staying at this place where she was painting. 
and I really like the idea. I really like eyes. I think eyes of most any color are very pretty, and uh, it's when you look close enough. <laughs> and uh, I love all the different colors that mix in them. Even eyes of a solid color uh, tend to have lots of different little streaks in them, and are sometimes like. Uh, there's even like different kinds of blue eyes. My eyes are blue and they have a little bit of a yellow ring around the center. And my mom's are the same, but my best friend also has blue eyes. But she has a different kind where they're uh, very pale blue in the center and then have kind of a ring of dark blue around the outside of the iris. And her mom has those same type of blue eyes. And so I find eyes really interesting and really pretty and I like all the different kinds so uh, <laughs> I was immediately fascinated with the idea of painting just eyes without faces around them and uh, painting the eyes of your friends so I decided to paint these ones this second bookmark that I'm designing I partially figured out how I want you to draw the wings before I started filming I started off drawing them as you first saw them uh, from a reference of online material and then I decided that I really wanted to get some more practice sketching bat type wings before I fully decided what exactly what kind exactly I wanted to do so that I could do more improvisation and so I found a bunch more references and looked at pictures of real bats and also looked at pictures of drawings of bat wings, which are similar, but are due to part significantly what, from what actual bat wings look like. And so I kind of, I did, I got out one of my big, big pieces of paper from my old art class that we were forced to buy. Just drew different wings all over them, different, like some wings that were stretched out, some that were folded up like these are some that were sort of vertically inclined and some as you saw I was making for a while I thought about making these wings have much shorter inner bones whereas my final product ended up having very long inner bones so there isn't much difference between the lengths of the longest ones and the shorter ones and so I experimented with different different lengths and different and then I figured out how these types of wings would unfurl versus how the other shaped wings would unfurl and I did a lot of playing with it and figuring out trying to figure out what I really wanted it to look like what would be the most fun what would be the most close to how the books made me picture the wings and so this is what I kind of end up with, ended up with as far as shape goes. So I kind of wonder uh, how, if you've read the Buckboard of Mist and Fury books, how you imagine uh, the wings of some of the characters. They're a set of characters called Illyrians that have these uh, bat wing type things, membranous, that's what they're called, although uh, butterfly wings are also called membranous as opposed to feathery wings, which I'm pretty sure these guys <laughs> from the description don't have very butterfly wings, I'm pretty sure they have bat membrane wings, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so bat wings versus the various types of wings, I also really like drawing uh, fairy wings, like, like butterfly wings and uh, dragonfly wings. I don't draw them very, I haven't drawn them very much recently because um, in the past when I've tried to draw them, draw them, I've always been <laughs> very disappointed with my efforts. I imagine them so beautiful and it never turns out quite like I had intended, so I've been a little nervous about trying it again. But I'm thinking, in a bit, I should definitely design some bookmarks or maybe, probably my next full-size illustration. I bet I could do a fairy and have the focus be on her wings as opposed to her face or her body. Yeah, that would be nice. I should do that next. <laughs> 
And so I also really struggled with what colors I wanted the background for this to be. I wanted something that I didn't want it to be too dark as I was sort of first thinking of. Like I was thinking of a dark brown or a dark, maybe even a black or a dark deep blue like the night sky. Um, because the, the night sky is also a big theme for Quarter Mist and Fury. But uh, I also wanted something that would be light enough that the wings would be dark compared to them and would sort of pop out. And I planned on making the wings sort of a, uh, the way I pictured the wings was dark, slightly purplish, reddish, brown, black sort of a color which you'll see in a minute um but and so I wanted something dark enough that some wanted a background of light enough that it would stand out but I didn't want it to just be light blue because that just didn't seem right so eventually I decided on purple or violet because um and the reason I chose purple was because that's the color of the one of the main character's eyes that I didn't paint, Ryson's eyes are violet. And since uh, I'm painting his wings and I am, I'm the quote that I'm going to end up putting on the upper portion of the bookmark is a quote from him, or about him, not from him, about him, that uh, it would be good to have his eye color represented since I'd been working on the other character's eyes for the other project. And so now you can see I've got some black going and some purple going and some red going into figuring out what color the membrane of the wing should be as opposed to the, the skeletal portion. The skeletal portion I made black. Um, but I also, as I was doing these membranes, the reason I did the lower portion first uh, instead of the upper portion was I was trying to have the lower portion be when I was kind of running out of uh, of paint so that it would be a little bit lighter. It would be like the same color but more stretched out. <laughs> so that's kind of what I was going for and the differences in colors. I don't think that that really affected the final product because I got so much <laughs> put into it by the time it was finished, but that was the idea. <laughs> So, uh, as I'm coming towards, um, when I'm going to be sort of finishing this illustration, I wanted to talk about something. Uh, by the time this video comes out, I should have posted my announcement that I'm opening a shop on Store Envy so that people can buy prints of my work. and. So I kind of wanted to talk about that, and um, I'm very happy with <laughs> with what I've done, with um, the figuring I've done to figure out how to open a shop, figuring out how to run a small business. Um, it's been interesting, and it's been complicated. <laughs> there are all sorts of things that pop up that... I uh, hadn't expected to sort of just pop up and then I deal with them as they come. And so I've been completely self-taught watching a lot of YouTube videos about um, how to run art shops and things like that and figuring out how to uh, laminate at home, which I had no idea how to do, but was <laughs> turned out to be very simple indeed. So that was very nice. And um, figuring out how to uh, what, figuring out comparing Etsy with Store Envy, figuring out that Store Envy has less 
um, less fees, and and so yeah, there's just been a lot of figuring that's gone into it, and I'm really proud of myself for learning and uh, applying things and doing a lot of paperwork and I had to get a P.O. box <laughs> and there's a lot of um, money required in in the setup of a small business and I didn't realize how much of it would go to a P.O. box which is so much more expensive than I thought it would be and how much of it is going to various things and what things are the expensive parts that I didn't think of like I thought ink would be one of the most expensive things but <laughs> there's other things that are turning out more so and so those are my final or almost final uh bookmarks the wings bookmark I have there I haven't put the quote on yet because I want to uh because I'm basically because I'm really terrible at calligraphy and I want it to be printed on rather than painted so <laughs> at the time I'm recording this audio I have figured out uh, which font I want and everything and gotten them printed out with the quote and I'm very happy with them so uh, if you decide that you would like to see that or would like to see my other designs or whatever you can head over to my shop I'll link it below um, and the quote is my friend through so many dangers because um Oh, it makes me, re that quote just makes me really happy. <laughs> there are a number to choose, but that one just is my favorite, very short quote that makes me really happy, and yeah, so. That's all I've got for today. I'll see you next week. Bye!